remember I how this okay. little skit came about. Mm -hmm. You mean this monumental, this monumental, earth-moving, life-changing sketch? Earth-shattering. <laughs> the earth was shattered. Changed the game. It was shattered it on changed that Changed the day. game. I'll right never there. forget where I was the day I heard about this. <laughs> 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 never forget where he was the day he voiced Kit. Kit. Yeah. From Night Vale. Like you, this was the first one we did together. You came over to my house and you were like, uh, listen, I'm working over fucking makers. I'm doing skits for YouTube. You have to help me because uh, fucking nobody can write shit. <laughs> I was like, well, what are you doing? You're like, a fucking Knight Rider thing. And you had some idea about it. And uh, then I, I, I remember thinking about it going, wow, wouldn't it be? Because I always thought, and this is it, this just me, I always thought the car was gay. <laughs> I always thought Kit was gay. I think we That's all not fair. Just because that. William Daniels has a faux mid Atlantic accent. <laughs> it is unfair. Doesn't mean me. he's gay. And I'm, I'm, I'm mortified that I said it out loud. <laughs> he was kind of prissy. He was like a Mr. Yeah, Belvedere of cars. It's a total prissy car. <laughs> So I thought, why, Wesley, wouldn't it be Wesley. good? Wouldn't it be good if the car had like a crush on Michael and Michael was stuck in the eighties? But Kit, because you had told me about the Lamborghini yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the same time, they were doing a brand deal for Lamborghini at, over at uh, over at Makers, which Sam invited me and Flannery to. We went down there and we rode in Lamborghinis. And shit. Oh, it was awesome. it was awesome. Dude, I went in an Aventador. It was like a fucking quarter of a million dollar car, and the guy it was like. It was really unreal, and they had the gelato thing. Yeah, the I remember gelato. that. They really fancied it up. Fancy, they Italian that shit up. Ah, ah, ah. My ah. idea wasn't that good. All I, th I thought it'd just be funny if Kit got in an argument with Siri and Blue Star. I just was like, what if all these car navigational modern app things met Kit? I just thought that would be funny. Should, Which I still that, think is funny. We should put, that, we should put yeah, that in the They're all arguing. Michael, my directions are correct. And yeah. then Siri's like, who, who, who is this asshole? Michael, you know. Yeah. Shut up, Siri, you betcha. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you later. And then our boy here did the best. <laughs> I mean, it sounds exactly like him. Yeah. You sounded exactly like I was really happy. I, I am a secret, not a secret, I'm a huge William Daniels fan. When I, I, when I heard you playing Kit, I, I fucking basically lost my mind. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> he sounds fucking exactly like... And Sam's like, I know, right? Well, he's like, he did part of it on my fucking iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of my favorite musicals of all time is 1776, and he plays John Adams, who is also oh. one of my favorite historical characters of all time. He originated the role on Broadway, then took it to the fucking film, yeah. which was huge when it came out, and then he was in St. Elsewhere. He played that bitchy asshole doctor that blew, you know, it was always up everybody's ass. Oh, was that was him? Criticized. He, I think his name was Auschlander. That was his character's <laughs> name. And then he went on to, I think, Boy Meets World. He played Mr. Feeney, the principal uh, of the school that was his, like, confidant and, like, the Dumbledore of that fucking place. Um, but, man, Kit. I mean, William Daniels just owned the 80s with Kit. Boy, All right, let's fucking watch this watch masterpiece. This thing, ready? Right, and let's here watch we it. Go. So, and Knight Rider. And Sam as Michael Knight. Little, little light, you, what is that thing light called? Bar. Light tracer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks like the Cylons. Yeah, we had to track that in. I remember that being a huge pain in the ass it for you. That you never saw coming. Ass. No, no. And it was funny, too, because you had done so many freaking videos at that point. You had everything in the world. I saw a video of you jumping out of a fucking hot air balloon. I know. <laughs> and shit, and like faking stuff. Yeah, and for huge whatever bullet reason, hits. that was that the was somehow huge. Yeah, Kit's tracing bullet. <laughs> it had to be perfect. It had to be perfect. You know, and then, and then there's like a website where you can download all the sound effects. All the sound effects are great. I'm so sitting great. there at night, oh, yeah. like getting them. Oh man, I thought that sounded great. The... Oh, it's so great. Oh it's my god, so good. I remember that in my childhood too. That whole that sound. Is that a wig? That's a wig, right? That's a wig, but it was it was six hundred dollar wig that was made out of human hair. <laughs> And it actually sounded like it looked a lot better. It actually looks terrible on film, but dude, I tried. Dude, I, I think right, it looks... We're going we're gonna to come up to a point in this where the wig is the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> For one beautiful second, my favorite shot in this whole thing, I still remember it. Come on, let's do this! Is that what you're wearing to the crime? What are you talking about? Yes, this is what I wear every day. Oh, come on, Michael. I've updated. Look at me. And look at you. Look at me. 
And look at you. Look at me. Just go! So Sean Patrick Flannery, Flannery was there on that day, yeah. and I couldn't light that car up properly. I couldn't get it to smoke. And oh, he's so like, he did? He's like, you want to let me try? You want to let me try? And I'm like, fucking get you. Ah! Oh, that's right. Ruined that's the right. Brakes, ah! He like ruined the clutch. Dude, like, he's I got in trouble. Did he really? Oh, yeah, dude, the smell is so bad. And I'm he's like, like, hey, you can't yell Yandy this shit. Yeah. Dude, he's an actual. This isn't a runaway train. Yeah. <laughs> he's an actual race car driver. <laughs> And he's, oh, I think he's been in one accident, no. and it was kind of a, it was kind of a, one of those lame ones where a guy, you know, he sees it's coming, so he slows down, and he just kind of hit a bunch of boxes in the <laughs> yeah. side. Flannery does it, and he hits it, and the, the commentator goes, "Oh, Flannery Boondock Saints!" <laughs> <laughs> and then Flannery's getting interviewed, and he's like, "I'm glad I had kids before this," because he said like the five point buckle crunched his nuts <laughs> oh, so bad. Oh, really? oh yeah, he ruined the clutch in that thing, but it was such a good oh, shot. He oh, got a high a nice, five. Now, what was that one called? Because the Inventador was That's the a one. Gal that's a Gallant or Gala uh, or, or ga 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 Gallant, Gal, Gal, Gal something or other. Yeah, 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 Kit, what are you doing? We should think about your hair, Michael. This is a fabulous place. They have wonderful reviews on Yelp. What are you talking about? This is the way my hair's always been. Since the mid-80s, hairstyles have evolved. Some height on top with slick back sides could help you channel your inner soccer style, Michael. And as you can see, a little texture goes a long way for George Clooney. I think he's wonderful. But this season, Brad Pitt has simply thrown out the rule book with his whimsical shoulder-length hair Kit, we don't have time for this! <laughs> Let's not do anything stupid, gentlemen. I'm taking you in by the book. All right, we surrender, you know. Wise choice. And Larry has this character he plays called something Dubois. Yeah. And uh, he was said, I'll be in your sketch if you let me play Dubois. Yeah, I, I didn't know he Dubois. was so jacked. At first I thought that was you in a fake porn mustache. <laughs> yeah. I was like, is that well, you, Sam? A lot of people watch this and only notice him at the end. Yeah, they don't, they don't realize. They didn't even know that that's him. Uh, yeah. He had that guy down so bad. Like he's he showed so us, he funny. showed us his skits, and they were fucking hilarious. It's like this guy Dubois goes around, and he, he's got like a BMX bike, and he shows up like he's all cool. And yeah, shit, and he just kind of wins out of nowhere, even though he's a douche. Dubois amazing. It's hell, it's hella funny, right? I just but he had his own wig and shit. And his whole thing. So oh, he just shows up. About it. He shows it's up, and he's so like, boom, funny. boom, boom. I always get a laugh out of. All right, Mr. Red. All right, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, whatever. So what are you gonna do with this? You gonna me? Nothing. It's our legal system of justice that's gonna- Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Oh, what did you do? Oh my god! What did you do? Get their clothes, Michael. What? You murdered them! Would you stop living in the past and jack those threads, man? You're a murderer! That's a dubligé men's jacket with an asymmetry zipper from Chateau Nordique, Michael. You really can't find those anywhere. I am very uncomfortable with this kid! Stop acting like a little bitch, Michael, and roll those pigs. No! I will not do that! It puts the lotion in the basket or it gets the hose again. Do you remember? Because when I'm, when I'm, Dude, this is probably your best acting I, 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 in any skit you've ever done. You've done thousands of these things. When I'm standing, yeah, when I'm standing behind the camera, <laughs> I usually don't have eyes on me. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I have famous director Troy Duffy standing here behind the camera. I was like, just fucking direct me, bro. Just play yeah, you direct, direct me, bro. Direct me, bro. Direct me, bro. Merciless. Direct me, bro. He made me do that like direct, fucking direct, 39 direct. times, dude. He's like, no, more passion. Everybody at Maker's walking around going, what the fuck's going on out there? You're like, you're angry. You're sad. I don't believe you're really sad. I'm like, oh, my voice is just He's all screaming. He's like, Billy Carly, you have to fucking act this way. I football coached you and broke your spirit. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You took me past the point of phone didn't cry. You fucking... You fucking killed this. You fucking killed this. Like, Fuck Boondock Saints. This is the best dialogue you ever heard. Yeah, you destroyed it. You, you, you just pulled this shit out. This is, this is, this is. A, 
A duplage men's jacket yeah, with an asymmetry zipper from Chateau that? Nordique. What is that? <laughs> fuck did you made that up? Booyah, made up a bunch of booyah. bougie sounding shit. It was so bougie. And it was dude. funny too because you in your wardrobe found that jacket <laughs> that didn't have a symmetrical zipper. No you were like, is this gonna work? I'm like, yes! 100%. That is totally gonna work. That is what I, I remember, pictured. I remember after reading the line, I was like, what, is that a real thing? Yeah. <laughs> I went, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that, uh, what, what a shit. You were wondering if old Duffy pulled that one out of the desk. Yeah, okay. And yes, yeah. I did. You, uh, all right, dude? My partner's a murderer. Well, that sucks. You want another Zima? This scene takes place right here. Right where we're sitting. Freaking you bar. might have been yeah. sitting right where you are. Yeah, I was sitting where you're at. <laughs> well, I was right there. And, and then Sean Patrick Flannery is right here as Connor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I remember the bullshit that you went through to find that the stupid Zima. Zima bar. Oh, it was not. That was before the reissuing. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't out yet. You had to get it off of eBay. He, had, he yeah. had so many fucking fans. He's like, listen, I'm doing a skit. I need a fucking Zima bottle. And uh, there was almost like crickets. And then one dude was like, all right, I have one, but it's, it's still got the alcohol on it. <laughs> it's like still got the cap on, and it's perfect. And I really don't want you to mess it up. Sam was like, I will buy that fucking bottle from you right now. You paid like 200 bucks for that stupid bottle of fucking Zima. And he drank it. <laughs> I was, I was going to ask him. <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. I love Zima. That, yeah, but 20-year-old Zima? 20-year-old Zima. Now, Zima still exists in Japan. Yeah, but they did the reissuing after this video. I think Zima's got a half-life of 5,000 years. Oh, oh we bring it so back. They did the reissuing of Zima right after this video. That's right. Just coincidentally. Randomly. No, or I was uh, in Maryland, I think I remember, and there was a, a stack of Zima. I took the picture and sent it to you. I'm like, where the fuck was this yeah, one? Yeah, video. I'm like, what? I remember how what? long and hard you searched for that, and the day he comes over. By the way. Fucking Zima! Oh, by the way. Zima! Worth the search because everybody laughs when everybody. you see the fucking ball. Oh, yeah. Everybody we got our era wrong. wrong. Like that's a nineties thing and the and the kid from the eighties, so whatever. The joke, the joke was set. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. Are, Fuck that up. Are we about Fuck to see yeah. Troy Duffy's acting debut? My acting debut. Are we about to see this? All right, here I, I go. Extremely proud. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've never seen you in a fucking shirt man. in my life. Partner's a murderer. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad for a cat. Set me up. Like you still got the blood on your face. Oh, oh look who it is. There he is. Oi. It's a nice jacket you got there, fella. <laughs> Told you, Michael. And you can trust him because the Irish are an honest and sober people known for their keen sense of fashion and moderate tempers. Your boyfriend buy that for you? <laughs> of that keen sense of fashion and moderate tempers. Which I pulled out of my ass because I'm an angry Irish motherfucker from Boston. Like, what's the opposite of my family? Oh, yes. <laughs> you can trust him, too. Just like, yeah, keen and sober people. <laughs> Which joke was funnier, Michael? There's a mine. Spilled Zima everywhere. Dude, that was like the best ending uh, too. Sing it. Uh, <laughs> no. All right. So what's great is well, that was my tribute to him in 1776. Yeah, we did so this in 20. We did this in 2014. It's like five years old, which yeah. is sad. Six, actually. Jesus, oh, we're on the eve, yeah, of, yeah. Of, eve of, of, of a year you. change. Wow. Yeah. But I think we should make another one. Yeah, we should do another one. And it should be what we talked about. Yeah. Where, where, where mm -hmm. we get David Hasselhoff, yeah. with my father. He plays yeah. your dad. And, and he, both he him and Kit. <laughs> if your dad's like a drunk and he's like, what the fuck are you Yeah, doing? but both, both him and Kit car. gang up on you about your dumb <laughs> life choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. can totally make fun of you, and but then like Kit and him start a grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're yeah. both on your case all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, boy, I've been telling you since you were five. You need to ask me. I've been saying that too. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I remember there was this one idea we had where you were fixing Kit's oh, crank this case. Oh, gross. <laughs> you were fixing his crank case, and he's like, just twist the bolt, my little Noah. A little Noah. Uh, uh, like, my guy says, right here, I know what I'm doing, Kit. And yeah. then uh, like, he I lets have him, a he spews oil. Crank yeah, I have a confession. Spews oil all over Michael's face. I get him like, no, 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 no
Oh, that was wonderful. Oh, God. 20, 20, 20, 20 but he should be like, no, tell me if you're going to do it again. Tell me if you're going to yeah. do it. Don't do it. Don't do it in my face. <laughs> like Sorry, get some facial from yeah. 20s on the dresser, Michael. Oh, God. No, that's good. I'm good. I didn't really even need to know. Well, that took me back, gentlemen. That took me back. <laughs> I had so much fun doing that. We made up so much shit on the fly. Dude, like, but like you could go f forever with just that one concept, you know? Present day, Michael stuck in the 80s, kids adapted, and they're on each other. Yeah, they're on each other. I mean, you bring in, you bring in fucking Hasselhoff on that, and make him your drunk dad who's like, you're a fucking disappointment. <laughs> Running around, you stupid air, you stupid belt buckle. Oh, my God. Trying to, trying to stop crying. Can you imagine as he pulls up in kit? Yeah, the hassle comes and goes, well, 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 it's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it starts. Well, I was just telling you. You just, hear, you just hear Kit go, <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, or like fucking Kit decides to take the dad for a ride when he's drunk because the car is self riding. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, Kit, this is great. And he's like, yeah, yeah. Dad's eating like, a hamburger. They're conspiring, and Michael's at the house all. Where the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who are these? What are no, these no, shit? he can listen. Kit, kids tell me get that. Shut up, Michael. He can listen in. Here's him talking shit about him on his wristwatch. Yeah, but you can't. <laughs> Sorry, was that another? But it's a one-way comm link, so you can't comment. <laughs> yeah, all yeah. you can do is hear. Kit left Kit, it on. Kit, what are you doing? Just so yeah. he can hear. Just so he can fuck with you. I'm telling you, your boy's Kit's a moron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, we had one too where like Kit, Michael's house was uh, updated, kind of, because he, he can't help these days, and Kit. Could see in every room. Yeah, he, he jumped into yeah. the smart house. Yeah, 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 yeah. smart house. Yeah. And, he, and he could talk to Michael Get in every room. Get the fuck out of my house, Michael kid. Would be like, we had a fucking gentleman's agreement on this kid. You do not have access. You do you not have, have access to the house. I packed your home, Michael. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, that, 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 that could be yeah, where yeah. that that could be where he gets in a fight with Alexa. Yeah. And then you it's find out Siri. something else is in the car. Yep. Like okay, no, then they all, they all start plotting against Michael. Yeah, Echo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kit's got them all. At the end, it's just uh, it's 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 Alexa saying something in the house. It's Siri saying something in the car, and it's Kit going, "How oh, my minions?" Something, <laughs> yeah. something like that. We're like my my little doves. Michael just goes fishing so he can get away from technology. Yeah, he, this he bullshit. Pull up to, to to you know he's parked on the street, <laughs> and now ask him. Blah blah blah. You know, <laughs> you know, Kit's feeding the lines. <laughs> I remember once we, we thought, like, uh, when this girl, who was also hot, but from the 80s, was all had a crush on Michael, and Kit fucking hated her, and tried to, we had something where he sabotaged the girl. Oh, yeah, I remember, remember this, that? I remember this, I remember this, I remember this. I do this. where he sabotaged the girl yeah. to make Michael think she was just a terrible person. Yeah. Oh, my God. I told you, Michael. Right. She wasn't good enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> well... I will give you a very small. I don't. They don't get to know yet. We're gonna save this story for Jimmy Kimmel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're yeah. going on Kimmel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See. Uh, One point eight million dollar. No, no, no. We can't say budgets get. either. That's uh, never. Uh, no, Devin, don't, don't use that. All right, look. Uh, here's the here's the, the here's comedy the long we story. didn't make for any money for no one. Yeah. <laughs> the comedy that w was never done, <laughs> was never written by us. Nobody saw nothing. You can't promote it. No, no, no. We wrote a feature film two years ago. Somehow magically, we were able to shoot it, and it's actually really funny. And we can talk. There's about nothing it. There's nothing magical about it. We have it all on film. Nobody. It's <laughs> magic. Seventeen times. It's we tried magic. It. All right, we did it. We got it done, and Paulie Shore stars in it. Yeah, he does. And he kills it. He Everybody kills hasn't it. seen him Billy in a while. Billy Zane. Billy Zane. Zane. Steve Catan. Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno in his first comic performance, which was sensational. Kind of. So was, yeah, we made a movie. It's called Guest House. And uh, yeah. if you watch these channels here, we're going to be leaking all the information, all we the behind the scenes, all that fun stuff. Yep. Well, that's a hard R, guest house. Oh, no, it's that a is, dirty oh, oh, oh. It's a dirty it's, it's, What was that new term you came up with? It's a wicked hot. Oh, it's like a raunchy rom-com? Raunchy rom-com. Raunchy rom-com. It's, so it's, so it's so dirty. It's so dirty. It's so dirty. It's so awesome. I never thought... I remember when we were writing that, there was at one point where we just said, you know what, let's just write something that has almost no chance of ever... Yeah. We were, like, doing it as an exercise yeah. at one point. We're going to write the filthiest movie like, nobody possible. Nobody will make this. If we write the things that we think are really funny, nobody's ever going to make it. <laughs> and then we found a crazy yeah. motherfucker <laughs> to make it. The Australian. Yeah. Like the, Austra the Australian. The Australian. Mate. He's like, here's your money. Go. Go. And it's in pesos. So look. <laughs> No, that was I hope fun. You like Bitcoin. That was fun, and we have something really awesome coming out very soon. So it's pretty just, special. Yeah. And thanks for watching. Mostly because it's done. Night Rider with us.